Hi everyone, in this video we will see k-nearest neighbor algorithm in python or shortly we can say it as knn in python. After watching this video, you can able to implement knn algorithm like this. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. We are using Spotify songs dataset for our implementation. Since we are beginning to start using this algorithm within the python, so I am keeping it very simple so that your learning curve is very quick and you should be able to do it easily. Before going to the implementation, once we will quickly go to the dataset. In this dataset, we have some tracks like in the hotline, clouds of Demantia, and some of the features like danceability, speechiness, tempo, etc. As you can see in the target column, we have some ones and zeros where 1 indicates it's a hit song and 0 indicates it's a flop song. Now we will go to the coding part. First, we need to import pandas library for data extraction and manipulation. We are importing pandas as pd. Then, from scikit-learn library, we need to import knn classifier. We will also import numpy library as np to do some mathematical calculations. We will ignore the warnings here. After importing all the libraries, now we need to import our dataset. Using pandas we can do that. Here the dataset is in the form of csv. So we are going to use pd.readcsv command to read the dataset. Now I am using spotify.head command to see the top 5 rows of our dataset. Now we are going to create an independent and a dependent variable x and y. The values which are independent is basically your values for x. For example all of these columns. So these are the variables which belong to x. With the help of them we are going to classify or predict this particular column which is a dependent variable because it depends on all of these features. We are going to use this spotify.ilog command to get these 5 columns. Now if I execute x.head command we can see only those columns. Similarly for y using this command y equal to spotify.ilog we can get this last column. Now if we execute y.head command, we can see only that last dependent column. Now we need to simply call or instantiate k nearest neighbor classifier. Using this command we can do that. Here we need to specify the number of neighbors. Now the question is how do you specify the number of neighbors? If you not seen my previous video, I really recommend you to see that video because in that video I gave some ideas to choose the number of neighbors. I will provide the link in the description or you can click the i symbol on the top. So to calculate the number of neighbors, we will generally use the square root of n formula which in general called as rule of thumb where n indicates the number of observations in our dataset. So what I will do is, I will press escape to come out of my edit mode, then I press B to create a line below. Now I am using this command spotify.shape to see the shape of my dataset. As you can see we have 217 observation. Now we need to find the square root of this, which is around 14.73. So I am taking number of numbers as 14. It may happen you need the less number of neighbors, but we will go with the rule of thumb which will increase the prediction accuracy. Now I can fit x and y in knn using the command knn.fit. Now what we can do is, we can predict using this knn algorithm. There are two ways to predict. One way is by predicting the entire values of y by passing the x into this knn.predict command. As you can see now we have the predicted y values. 
Now I am going to compare it with original y values by creating a new object. Now you can see that in most of the cases we are predicting correct. So that's one way of how you can predict. Other way is by passing some random parameters we can able to predict it. Here you can pass whatever numbers you like. It will give the label. Okay, we got some error here. As you can see here, we just passed only four parameters, but we need to pass five parameters, right? Now we got the answer. Well, the next thing which I want to show you is try and test split method. In the previous case, what we did is we taken an entire data set and we fitted into the algorithm. But now, what we are going to do is we are taking some part of the data set and we are naming it as training set, and the other part will act as testing data set. Using this command, we can do that. Here, the number indicates in what ratio we are splitting the data set. We are fitting the training data set into the KNN algorithm. Now using this command, we can pass testing data set to predict the testing data set labels. We can compare the predicted values with the original ones using the same method which we discussed in the previous case. Here is my output. From a quick scan, I can clearly see that almost in 85% of the cases, the algorithm is working fine and giving the correct cases. To improve the accuracy of your model, you will have to take the nearest neighbor values in a loop and you need to find the value with maximum accuracy. So I hope you learned a lot in this video. Let me know what you learned in the comment section and share your experience with me so that we can learn together. That's it for the video guys, if you like this video, please do like, share, comment. Thank you. Signing off.